Hello, I'm Scott Hayden for EdTech UK and this is the third in our documentary series investigating the most innovative and interesting uses of educational technology throughout the UK. The way that it works is that staff can, can run a bite-size session, half an hour, they'll do that over breakfast, or they'll do it as a twilight or a lunchtime session. Um, they advertise that through Google+. Plus. So Google+, Plus is our internal intranet. We have a formal intranet as well, but we use Google+, Plus as a way of staff sharing. So at the moment, um, we have a, as a lot of colleges do, we have a SharePoint intranet, but that is very much for information providing. Um, the Google Plus is the collaborative aspect uh, and it allows colleagues through uh, Google Plus events to schedule and promote events and bite-sized sessions that they're running. In this documentary we travelled to Reading College and spoke to James Keeft about the way he has used Google Apps for education to transform the teaching and learning experience of staff and students at Reading College. So we're going to kick off with Google Drive and I think Google Drive has really allowed us to, to, to work to our mantra of any time, any place, any device. It, it works across a range of devices. It allows the learners and the staff to, to work wherever they need to work with an internet connection. And Google Drive has a number of, a number of uh, apps contained within it. So we've got Google Docs, which are equivalent to Word, Google Sheets, equivalent to Excel, and Google Slides, that's equivalent to PowerPoint. What's great about these is when it comes to connecting with the VLE or classroom or whatever, you're connecting to one live document. So as the tutor makes those updates, the student sees them as they appear. Historically, it would have been a process of every time you updated the document, you had to download or delete the original and replace it. Now they can publish those documents straight to Google Classroom and students can see them. When we were launching with our Google journey, we were very much showing them how they could use the tools and the systems we were creating. So our pass it on site was a Google site and we were encouraging staff to, to use Google sites because this was prior to Classroom coming out, to use Google sites as a VLE uh, and allowing them to customise the appearance of the site, to populate it with resources, to structure assignments via it. So the site initially was their space for structuring their resources and then they used Google Plus communities as a way of, of getting that learning conversations, getting those going and continuing those beyond the classroom. So that's how, how, we sort of, how it sort of ended up being initially with sites for the information and communities. Well, there's a number of benefits for the tutor, one of them being the tutor isn't having to, to pick up quite so many queries about what's happening next week, what's this, because the, the learners are supporting themselves. The tutor is, is when it comes to reshaping and reviewing the curriculum at the end of each year, is able to look through all of the resources that the learners have been sharing and posting. And in some cases, some of those have enabled the, the tutor to really adapt and transform the curriculum. And if we look back to the good old days where it was very much tutor-centered resource finding and, and, and providing, when you've got a class of 30 people looking out for resources, your net is much bigger than if you've got one tutor or two tutors looking for resources. And what we said to staff was, you need to have an online presence um, and learners need to be able to engage with you. What, you. what tools you choose specifically, we're quite lax on, but what we desperately need you to do is there definitely needs to be an online presence. And the majority of courses went down the route of a Google site and a Google Plus community. Now the community can be structured where you can have links to resources, you can have themes for topic discussions, so it doesn't, it doesn't grow into this mass of lots of different conversations, it's a bit more controlled. So for us, Google Plus uh, has had a number of those benefits. So to recap, we've had the, the student benefits of encouraging that learning beyond the walls of the college. And from some of our longer, younger learners, that's, that's a huge thing because they come from school where it's school starts at nine and finishes at three and, and everything outside of that is their own time. So to, to get that mindset change has been, a, has been a big, big bonus. Google Classroom allows 
uh, tutors to really manage the sharing of, of, of resources with students. But the key thing for me is, is the way it allows students and staff to, to, students to submit work and staff to provide formative feedback. Um, that, that was the challenge we had before Classroom came, was who did what, who shared a fold with what, who shared a drive with, uh, file with the other where historically learners would have had to get a license for more proprietary software. Now, if they've got a device which is internet connected, they can either get the app, both on Android or Apple, or they can get the, uh, pick it up via their browser on the, on the PC, laptop or desktop. The other functions the classroom really present now, and some of the newer features, is the question feature. So if you're in a lesson, I saw a great example over in a, in a business lesson in, in our Oxford campus, where the tutor used it as a connect activity. Learners went straight into the session, right, as part of the connect, we're gonna recap on what we did last week. The learner has six questions which they respond to at the start of the lesson, just to see how much they've remembered from that previous session. Chrome now has a really nice extension that allows you, as if you see something in the browser that you like, you click on the Chrome Classroom extension and it pastes that link directly into your classroom, which, which is fab. It's all about how it makes it easier to work. I think when you're working with staff, you need to make sure that you highlight the benefits to teaching and learning. Because as with anything, staff are very much like students. They're quite mercenary. If they can't see the point of it, they won't support you. So it's about highlighting the benefits. So for me, things like the, the classroom communities via Google Plus uh, is, is such a useful benefit. Um, the, the fact that they can share a document with their learners or, uh, and they can share classroom resources with their learners and any updates they make to those are live is another huge time saving where historically they would have had to backwards and forwards. And if you can get a few people who can champion it for you, who, who pick up and run with it and then are happy to share what they're doing and their successes, you'll find that the momentum will grow. Um, and that's what happened here. We had three or four people who picked it up and started using it in ways we hadn't envisaged. We hadn't envisaged that Google Plus would be the success it was. But we got three or four teams doing stuff and it was our access team that really picked up and ran with it. And then others find out, oh, so so an access is, and before you know it, uh, and we got to a point, we got to that tipping point where we, we looked at the usage of our traditional VLE and found it had gone off a cliff because everyone was working in Google. Thank you again to James Keeft and Reading College for letting us have a look around their wonderful facilities and explore Google Apps for Education. If you feel that your college are demonstrating great use of educational technology, then please get in touch with us on Twitter and we'll be more than happy to come along and film a documentary at your institution. See you next time.